the equilibrium configuration for a rotating fluid in a uniform gravitational field is a parabola. Spin any liquid and the Earth's gravitational field forms it into a parabola, the perfect shape to focus reflected light onto a point. To make the same shape in glass takes years of meticulous grinding. At the mirror's focal point, sensitive film and video cameras identify faint traces of satellites and space junk as they track through the sky. At approximately a thousand kilometers, we can see objects down to about two and a half centimeters. If something was, was shiny like this, of reflectivity of about 50%, then we could see objects down uh, less than about a centimeter or so. Joining the search is this liquid mirror, a three-meter dish of spinning mercury, using centrifugal force to create a perfect shape. Because it's liquid, the mirror can only ever point straight up. To tilt it would change its shape. It rotates. But as the Earth rotates, it effectively pans the mirror across the sky, and most objects will cross its field of view. Well, they will produce flashes that sometimes will be visible to the unaided eye. The junk visible with a pair of binoculars is just a fraction of the pollution in space. The liquid mirror telescope at Cloudcroft, New Mexico, is one of the few instruments which can reveal the extent of the problem. The reflector on the telescope is a spinning dish of liquid mercury. NASA is interested in studying the population of orbital debris objects. They're interested in assessing the hazards to space station or space shuttle. And in order to do that, we need to count, have a general idea of what the population is of orbital debris objects. So we've built a large telescope to see small pieces of debris. If you think about it in terms of what you can see with the unaided eye, the mirror is about 100,000 times larger than your eye. So it can collect 100,000 times as much light. There's a CCD camera on it, which is much more sensitive than your eye. It's about 10 times more sensitive. So overall, the telescope is about a million times more sensitive than your eye. So you can see objects a million times fainter. We're looking here at the field coming from the orbital debris camera mounted on the liquid mirror telescope. You can see lots of stars. And right here, you see a very slow moving piece of debris. That object may be 10,000 miles in altitude or so, and about the size of a desk, as an example. Satellite that's tumbling. Either a satellite or an orbital debris object. Fast meteor with a contrail. Nice meteor with a very nice contrail, residual contrail. You could actually see it drifting in the ionospheric winds. There's a tumbling object, a satellite or a piece of debris. There's a faint one. And here's a tumbling, either a rocket body or a satellite. Note the high rate of tumble. With a few specular reflections. So possibly a flat panel or some shiny surface that's catching the sunlight and reflecting it down to our eye.